Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to speak about Primaris Marines, Civil War with the normal Marines. A lot of people are discussing it. This is now the right chance, they're saying, to let all this happen again. We're also going to talk about Civil War with the Imperium as a whole itself because there's some aspects which is kind of leading up to the this Civil War kind of thing. Uh, and we're also going to speak about Chaos Marines and Primaris. Where does that fit? in the IP and the story now. So let's jump in and let's get started. Right, so by now we all know that you can now officially upgrade to a Primaris Marine. It's a thing, GW have done it. The legendary Kalgar, the most generic Space Marine of the most generic Space Marine chapter is now Primaris. So it's technically happened and it's probably gonna happen to a lot more characters that we all know and love. I did a video about this the other day. There's a lot of feedback on there. If you wanna go and watch that, watch that. Today, I wanna speak about the potential of a new Civil War arising with the normal marines and the primaris marines now because there is some chapters that do not accept or absolutely hate the idea of the primaris marines being brought into their ranks now gw has stated that there is some chapters that do not like the primaris marines the only one i've actually read about and has been put on paper which they absolutely detest the idea of the primaris marine is the Flesh Terrors, who uh, is run by, and the chapter master is Gabriel Seth. They are from the bloodline of Sanguinius, the successor chapters of the Blood Angels. Now, Seth stated that the Primaris were not reinforcements, they were replacements, and that's why he hated the idea of bringing them into his chapter. In the book, The Devastation of Baal, at the end of that book, the Blood Angels and all their successors are highly, highly depleted of Marines. It was a massacre of a battle, Lots of awesome stuff happened in that book. I'm not really going to go in and spoil all the little awesome things. But the Blood Angels and the successors were basically saved by Rebooty Gilliman and a bunch of Primaris Marines coming out of like the ships. And they're here to save us, that kind of thing. And uh, Gabriel sat down with Dante and he was like, dude, this is this is this is it. This is it for us. This is, this is our end. Only from now, it's basically just going to be the Primaris Marines that are taking over. So basically, we can also um, start the hashtag, which I've seen online, which is Seth knew. Hashtag Seth knew, which I, I, I kind of uh, I think is quite funny. So Seth really knew what was going on. Now, a lot of people are saying, no, they're not replacing them. But you have to look at this with some logical goggles on your head and that of course they're replacing them they're coming in they're taking over more of the roles the main characters which we wanted um as primaris like i i was always going on about primaris marines not enough characters so instead of giving us a new characters they basically stole characters now from the normal marines and added it to their range so yes primaris are taking over so if it came down to it would chapters like the flesh terrors and those who join the flesh terrors Go in open rebellion against Rebooty Gilliman and his new edicts, his, his his new government of rule, let's say, over the Imperium. I can kind of see it. I, I, I can definitely see it from a law standpoint, but from a business standpoint from GW themselves... Um, I, don't, I, I don't think they're really going to go down that route again. We've, we've basically already got a game mode set like this, which is the Horus Heresy. This is like the Imperium folding in on itself, huge, massive, galaxy-spanning civil war. We already have that now, so I really can't see them really doing that with Space Marines again, because it's, it's just a, a refreshed idea. But there's, there's people that are adamant that it, you know, it can happen and it will happen. Now, I'm not saying that some chapters will basically go renegade and you know right we're not we're not accepting this but as a grand scale of like all the marines uh normal marines banding together and go no we're stopping this this is not what we see uh for the future of us i can't see that i can see one or two chapters definitely um firing on uh primaris and maybe firing on gilliman or you know some big hq commanders and all that kind of stuff probably it will be the flesh terrors because gabriel seth is not the most calmest of people he de definitely loses his rag um, way more often than he should be doing now the only real kind of civil war which i think could happen and a possibility that it, it, it can be worked in the law and it would make more sense and it would be a lot more fun is the war between gilliman and the church of the Imperium, um, because at the moment in the law in the books, Gilliman is very, very conflicted 
about the emperor being a god and how people view the emperor and his divine state. He's not really, really happy with that. There is a bit of a spoiler here at the moment in the Plague Wars book. Um, so if you haven't read Plague Wars, just mute me for the next minute. Um, I'm going to start the spoiler right about now. So in the Plague Wars book, uh, Gilliman at the end does sit down and he does start reading uh, the Legio uh, Divitatis. So I'm not too sure if Gilliman is actually going to be brought over to the side of the faith, which would be the most ironic thing in the world, because um, this basically stems from Logar and you know Gilman's hatred for Logar and everything like that. It it, it 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 actually would work with 40k that Gilman would turn that because it would be the most grimdark thing um, to think of. You know, Gilman always hated Logar for his views and all that kind of stuff, and then Gilman came around and he now sees the Emperor as a god. Personally. I'm not with that. The Emperor is the Emperor. He's not divine or anything like that, even though people tend to think he is. Right, spoilers are over. So that's why I think having Gilliman against uh, the church and all that kind of d uh, divine fanatics would really, really be more of a benefit. I think I think the story itself would be a lot more fun. You know, you've got the saints and the sisters and all that kind of stuff first. You know, space marines, and you'll you probably have this full internal struggle about, you know, the people see the emperor as a god, and if you take that from him, then maybe they'll start looking to other sources of religion, and that could lead to chaos. You know, you can explore all those kind of walkways. So if it did come to imperial civil war again, I would much prefer it to be that civil war rather than normal marines having bad... Uh, you know, hurt feelings because, uh, you know, there's bigger guys out there. You know, it, it, I'd, I'd, I'd rather have that direction of story. Now, on to the big thing, and that is Chaos and Primaris Marines. Now, since you can officially upgrade to a Primaris Marine, does that mean Chaos can take this and they can upgrade themselves as well? Because I'm at, at the end of the day, Primaris are going to die to Chaos. Primaris have already died to Chaos. Surely they've got to take some of their bodies and they've got to mess around with them. There's one chap who we all know who's on the Chaos side, which is Fabius Bile, and he is a genius when it comes to things like this. If he can clone Primarchs, then Primaris Marines are not going to be a big obstacle for him at all. So if he gets his hands on this stuff, it's only a matter of time before Chaos start producing Chaos versions of of Primaris Marines. It, it, it has to happen law-wise. If it can happen to normal Space Marines, then it has to happen to normal Chaos Space Marines as well. Because in the Space Marine Codex, if I'm not mistaken, it was Fabius Bile that stated, um, oh, there was a blurb of text that stated that Fabius Bile um, has took interest in the Primaris Marines. So like I said, it's just it's just a matter of time before, before something happens. Are they going to be like a perfect version of Primaris that the Space Marines have, I wouldn't think so. Um, I think if they did that, I think it would be a kind of a, a meh kind of movement. I'd rather Chaos, if they're going to do it, um, then they do it in their own way. Maybe it's a kind of like a, uh, a like a horrid kind of gene mix, which you know more like monsters kind of thing. I think that would be a lot more cooler than basically taking the generic um, uh, Primaris Marine and just putting some spikes on him. So if they are going to do it, I, I I really hope they do it in um, a lot different way. So it gives each armor just something different on the tabletop it's not just all like just generic bloody marines okay chaps that is me done for another video tell me your thoughts uh do you want civil war how do you want civil war do you want civil war between gilman and the church do you want civil war between normal and primaris marines what do you think about the whole chaosness of primaris space marines let me know in the comment section below we'll have a nice healthy discussion and we can just have some fun so thank you for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it i'll see you all very very soon have a great day and bye-bye.